All right, guys, welcome back. Man, honestly, I would be lying if I didn't tell you I was super duper, duper duper excited for right now. Like this is, this is a game that I've been waiting for so long. This is one of my most highly anticipated games of the entire year. And today marks the official beginning of an all new adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official beginning of Horizon Forbidden West. As you may know, I have probably been here for about 20 minutes just trying to get this intro done as best as I possibly can. But before we even get started, I just want to give a huge thank you to my really good friends over at PlayStation for sending me an early review code to this game. I've been just so anxious to get it started and I'm so excited to see what you guys think of it once you see this gameplay and once you experience the story. It's going to be one hell of a good time. And I'm just overall, honestly, so freaking pumped. Now, I'm going to be doing a pretty nice giveaway for this game. I'm partnering up with G Fuel, okay, to do a giveaway. All you guys have to do is drop a like on this video. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description to my Twitter. Everything will be announced and all the winners will be picked there as well. In addition to that, one last thing. I told them if we can bump up the G Fuel code to 30% for the release of this game to kind of celebrate. You guys know that we've been doing this for some of the previous titles and so starting today all the way until the end of the weekend use code hollow and you can save 30 percent off on anything g fuel related i'm gonna stop talking sit back relax and without further ado let's do this so this is actually in fact my very first time ever boarding up the game so we're gonna be able to Take it all in at the same time. Here we go. So we're gonna go for English and English as well for the HDR. I actually have it off. I do feel like the games just look better without HDR, which is kind of weird. Um, it's just a little trickier to record and edit and render and post. I just go with it off, and I've really enjoyed the results. So, Whew. but I'm so pumped. <laughs> this is probably gonna be like a two-hour episode. Okay, just, just letting you know, it's gonna be a long one. A huge shout out to the team, man. They have, these guys are phenomenal. Honestly, phenomenal. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machine. This is good that we have this little recap. Really good. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth that she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator, born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI, given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me, she prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian, becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. Ooh. I remember that, dude, at the One end. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. <laughs> that is massive, dude. That ending was like crazy, crazy. 
Auto saves will take place frequently. Manual saves may be made at campfires. Wow, dude. Oh my god. of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. Oh. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. Dude. That <laughs> comes to nothing. It looks great. Oh my god. And every night, I have the same dream. Whoa. Wow. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. And when I arrive, at the center. I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. Dude, these graphics are insanely beautiful. And for a moment, I feel whole. Man, PlayStation really does make some phenomenal never games. Lasts. Oh, so a beautiful dream turns into a nightmare. How convenient. <laughs> Not convenient at all. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The like valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. I feel like we're going to learn a lot more about Elizabeth here in this game. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So... What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what. 
You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Man, the graphics are so dreamy. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Yeah. Okay. But if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. God. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. <laughs> Come on. Kind of a big deal, you know. Get used to it, pal. She lives in the metaverse all day, every day. Okay. Sheesh. Man. I just want to dive in already. Shall we? Let's go. Let's do this. Stop teasing me, damn it. Let's just go. This isn't per performance mode. It's right. not even. I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Okay, hold on. Reach for the stars. Gather medicine. These scavenge. plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Short pulses from the focus highlight valuable loot and resources in the world. There. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. All right. Let's go. You can store a limited number of medicinal berries in your medicine pouch. Tap off. Bitter? Yeah. Ugh. At least they make you feel better. Disgusting. Anyways, we should keep going. All right. Let's grab some of these other berries Might here. I want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah. Good idea. All right, so I'm actually going to try and loot as much as I can for the first hour or so. I know we've got like X amount of things that we can loot. You know, our storage does get full at the end of the day, but I will try. We've got two more back here. Never know when you're going to need some medicine, man. Nine out of ten, I, I'd say that's a pretty good number. Let's go. The light. It's everywhere. The light. Sorry, wrong, wrong button. <laughs> the light's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's where we have to fix it. Hmm. All Those right. Ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. I don't want to put these ropes here, but... We can use the line to slide down. Hmm. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's this way. think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Noticed your uh, <laughs> traveling light. What is this? Oh, drop the ledge. Okay, here we go. Gather verdant yeah, bloom. I um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. No, let's go. Nice. All right, so we're gonna head this way, guys. Look at the water. More blights. <coughs> it's hard to breathe around this stuff. Disgusting. Bro, look at the water, man. Wow. That is beautiful. The fact that you can see through it is actually crazy. Oh, look over there. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they are. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Huh. I definitely am happy we're getting a little bit of a recap. We definitely need a recap. 
All right, so by default, your HUD is set to dynamic. It only displays information oh, relevant to specific situation. Better take a closer look. Oh, that is cool. Oh, this is the map. Holy smokes. Okay. Let me not get too far ahead of myself. Examine Argus. Someone took down his machine recently. Who else would come? I don't know. We could have craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some Ridgewood by the stream. Alright, Ridgewood. Here we go. Thank you. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Hold L1 to open up the weapon wheel. All right. So uh, select uh, and hold X to craft. Damn. Done. Very nice. Me too. Arrows ready. All right. I'm gonna gather more rich wood. What is this? Did we? We didn't come from here, did we? I think we did actually. Hold on. Alright. Let's get it. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. After oh, you. the trigger is so freaking nice, man. <laughs> oh shit. The triggers are phenomenal. Oh, oh yes. What was I don't know. The transmission beef, we need to find a way in. So, um what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Especially cars here, it's crazy. Why well, it's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Then people will get sick too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. Anything here? Looks like a dead end. Oh, got more Ridgewood. Thank you. I might be full on Ridgewood eventually, but right now I need it, okay? funny because that shit looks so beautiful and it's what's corrupting everything right now <laughs> I'm actually very excited to get into battle start kicking some ass Dump some more of this done this way oh, there we go get to the cross never seen one of those before me neither. Most dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Okay, so scan machines with your focus to highlight weak points and patrol paths. Hold R3 to activate focus. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Use uh, left and right. Scroll through the machine's components. Detachable. <laughs> Was this in the first one, it's dude? I. It's a weak spot. Indestructible. Right. Weak versus fire arrows. This is cool. Detachable. And you can view all of this on the note. Wow. This is super, super cool. I'm ready. Okay, concentrate. Here we go, boys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit, man. It feels so good with the freaking arrows. Oh, my God. Another one's coming. Find anything good? Eh. A few supplies. Oh, God. 
Oh god. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, tiger. I love how these are like dinosaurs, basically. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Exactly. Huh. You know what? So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. Sun King put his people to work in building the city. And I set out to find you. Oh. Another ladder. I need to shoot off the lock. Okay. Someone Got it. God, this game is beautiful, man. Shit. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I found to a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Oh, that's the toggle. Jesus. I was like, wait, how do I stop crouching? <laughs> well, moving tab L3 to sprint. Okay. Hmm. I'm so glad we're getting these. Uh, okay, lower the ledge. Oh. Very nice. Cool. As I was saying, I'm here. so happy that, that we're getting these tutorials. Far as this? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well... Let's find a way in. Hmm. Go ahead and loot this up here. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I should be able to pry this open. Pry the. Oh, R2, hold up. Let's go. Yes. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left us here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Hmm. I'm so happy we played the first game. I feel like if you didn't play the first game, you'd be a little lost here, honestly. Ugh. What's that stench? Entire camp. Oh. I doubt. Oh. Must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. Uh, it looks like something yep. big came in from above. I figured. Crashed right through the camp. Damn. Through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Wow. That shit was big, dude. What the hell? So right now is examine the rubble and the collapsed wall. Hold on. Move this crate up. Small supply cache. Interesting. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris. We might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Hmm. 
My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Okay. Search the cam for the parts to repair the tool. Acid burn right through his armor. I love the exploration aspect Part of this of the game. Machine could help fix the gears. And as I was saying earlier, this is basically a game with dinosaurs. They're just, you know, robots. But if you're like a fan of dinosaurs and shit and adventure, this is perfect, dude. It's one of the reasons why I really love this game. Besides the fact that it's a really good game. But the enemies are just fun. Which is a big part of the game, of course. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. Alright, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or huh? maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Oh, the workbench. Nice. It's been a while. Full caster, special gear, legendary, an improved version of Delver's prototype tool they can latch onto and pull objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. Wow. Now, does it break and we have to craft another one? That's going to be the interesting part. Probably not. Let's hope not. There. Yeah. Uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the debris. Okay. So. The pull caster, uh, the pull caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a graded pattern. Okay, to fire the pull caster. No way. All right, so L L2 triangle. Oh, cool. Nice. Very cool. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. All right, here we go. Huh. What's this thing for? This didn't turn up much. I better scan. Activate the console. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. The rocks. <laughs> I wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. All right, so we probably got to go up there. Hold on, there's also a section back there. Hmm. Wonder if we can pull that. Oh, I might be able to get up there. All right, so you can grapple to specific points in the world. Jump and tap X to attach to grapple points. Oh shoot! Wow, that works. That pull cast was useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry. I'll find you another way up. Hold on. Hold on. Let me check something out over here. Oh, damn. I thought I was able to go there. Let's get back over here. There was nothing back there anyways. All right. Perfect. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Sorry about that, Aloy. You know, just getting a little crazy here. That's all. Hmm. Okay, yeah, what up? Oh. What am I supposed to do here? Hold on, hold on. 
Not even gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I want to go for the jump, but I'm scared. Oh, okay, we actually made it. I didn't think we were gonna make okay, it. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. All right, cool. There you go, Varl. Thanks. How in the world would I be able to loot that though? Hmm. Hold on, can I use this? Gosh, this is gonna get interesting. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. <laughs> humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia for a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work.
work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come hmm. on. Alright. The auditorium. The wilds have really grown over this place. What is this? Show off. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Not my fault you can't have cool tricks. Sheesh. Creepier. Look at this. Holy cow. <laughs> what is this? Keep your guard up. Yo, that thing is massive. Oh, look at the water. Oh, that is so cool. Up here. Those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Moving off. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. All right, tag target first. Check its patrol path. Okay, that's his patrol path right there. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get into a position where I can sneak up and strike. All right, let's throw a rock. Just have to wait for the right moment. Actually, we may not even need to distract it. You know what? Awareness indicator. Okay. Silent strike. <laughs> That's right. Just stabbed him in the metallic butt cheeks. I guess. Gotcha. I'll pick up my rock. Thank you. Mine's down too. Well, you actually did a pretty good job for it being your first time, man. Let me see if I can loot the the one he took down. Hold on. How do I get up there? I forgot if in the first one we unlocked a double jump. I think we did. I could be wrong though. It's been such a long time. It's like three years already. Or possibly more. Yep. Nice. More of those machines ahead. Oh god. Oh, I'd be lying if I told you. Damn it! Bastard! I forgot that in this game, your bow and arrow is your best friend, not even your spear. Oh gosh, this is, this was not a good idea. Whoa! Calm down, man. Fuck. Got it. Man, this, this, this guy's gonna get himself killed. Okay, okay. All right. That's enough action for one episode, okay? I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry, my whiskers offend you. Anointed. 
I completely forgot the spears are effective, but not 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 as effective and that's something I learned the hard way the bow and arrow is definitely the way to go extremely effective against those uh those machines no well done grab some more thank you yes we can run and yeah I forgot about that Oh shit, another fox. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. We'll keep going this way. Mm-hmm. Little campfire here. The Osram awesome must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Alrighty, thank you. A small health I'll potion. This for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. You have just received a small health potion. Health potions are um, they take time to drink, but refill your health instantly and can over uh, it can overheal past your maximum health. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Wow. Managed to salvage some supplies. <laughs> and not blow it. yourself up. And got more supplies. <laughs> you can act wait, do you actually get supplies when you disarm them? Looks like another camp. While we're here. Maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. To craft a blast trap, hold down on the D-pad, open your hunter's kit, and navigate to the blast. Oh, no I shit. Supplies to craft a trap. Oh, nice. And it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. I can use this. Oh my god, we're looting like animals right now. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. This is phenomenal. You guys already know if it's full free, it's full me. Alright, I'm assuming we can climb up through here. Follow the arrows. Perfect. Machine's ahead. Oh god. Sorry. Okay, hold on. Alright. I've seen the target. Scrounger. It's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we should craft some traps. It could help us get by. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna tag this one. All right, I'm gonna actually craft. Maybe we could place one of those traps trap made. Made its path. Yes. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what Tra it is. All right, trap select. Let's see if I can plant this trap here. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. Oh no, don't come over here. No! Get away! Oh shoot. Right, I'm gonna need that one to go back to its path. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Come on, boy. Come on. I just want to see what the trap does. I want to see how it blows it up. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I 
Oh, we're cool. clear. Let's keep going then. Those are pretty freaking OP, man. Pretty damn OP. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? They all have their secrets, but every place is different. Right, let's head this way. Thank you. I'll take some of this. Just some more wood. I know I'm gonna need all the wood I can. Last one. I'm gonna go ahead and craft a little bit more arrows. Oh, I'm actually maxed out, huh? All right, hold up. Um, how do I get up there? Interesting. All right, so I killed these guys. How do we get up there? Ah, I see. Right up through here. Whoa. That machine we saw earlier must be on the move. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. Well, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, Aloy with the hops. Let's go. <laughs> Damn. All right. We're in business. It's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And we're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Hmm. Tax this data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. That doesn't explain how they got it back up. Data corruption partial high council executive summary. Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded, and I'm ex uh, exceptionally pleased that we've arrived at a mutually profitable agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt in contrast to the less tactical recommendations of certain of our more reaction, uh, reactionary members. In short, Far Zenith will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archives um, already sent and 500 ectogenic uh, chambers to be retrieved from the storage at our ninth uh, Ninma, Ninma facility. Supplementary uh, ectogenesis research reports. In exchange, Far Zenith will receive a copy of the alpha build the Apollo database in the week prior to the Odyssey's launch. By our estimates of Zero Dawn's timeline, by, the, uh, by then it should be a near complete res uh, repository of human knowledge. It should be noted that Dr. Sobek uh, was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand, making it clear that this was a non negotiable term. As our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communications with Dr. Sobek's team. While data is corrupted. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Data, data, tomato, tomato. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. All right, nothing else? Let's get it. There we go. Looks like we've got to climb up. We're getting closer. I know we're going to fight that thing. Bring this down here. A little sharker just in case we fall back down. I love how the focus highlights the path. That's awesome. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Guess we won't be going that way. Jesus. There we go. Oh, I like that. Well, it is a thousand years old. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some kind of meeting room. <sighs> oh, damn it, my bad. Put her off. On to. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, 
Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to wow. alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. Mm -mm. <laughs> I know she looks like me. Yes, I, I know. Elizabeth sent the backup <laughs> here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born, hmm. I was <laughs> made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but... She's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Stars. Okay, into update. Man, we're still on the same mission. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Hmm. What is that? A weapon. Thanks, Earl. Oh, thank you, man. We should keep moving. After you. The frost blasting. Blast. Uh, the blast sling launches uh, bombs that affect large areas. This weapon fires frost bombs. Use them against enemies to build up the brittle state. While in the brittle state, enemies are more vulnerable to arrows. Impact damage. How do I... Oh, shoot. Nice. Let's go. That was very kind of you, Varl. Could have kept that for yourself, but no. You gave it to me. <laughs> Down here. Okay, hold on. All right, here we go. I think we're almost back outside. Good. I'm telling you, we're gonna fight that big ass robot. I. Oh. Oh. It's in the same direction we're going. Fantastic. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. Man, you guys are pissing me off, man. You know that? You're pissing me off. Hold on. 
Oh, yes. I need to fill up the meter, but that's fine. I just wanted to use that. Oh, it can actually hurt me if I get it in the middle. Okay. That's good to know. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Hmm. Okay. We'll go this way. I gotta remember so, to keep. Uh... You said this backup was the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Is he part of Farzir too? No. He was worse. <laughs> what are you doing, Aloy? Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me check this out. Hold up. Okay. I'm gonna walk through here. I'm up here. We're supposed to go up. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is getting a little bit crazy. All right, good. We go here. I'm assuming if I sprint, it'll be all right. Good. All I had to do was sprint. I mean, okay. Go to the data center. Wow. That big metal thing right. looks like the ship we saw back in the she auditorium. Right Magic, these guys couldn't catch a break. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this here. I'm actually Machine quite surprised. We can tap them in the focus to keep track of them. I'm actually surprised we haven't uh, maxed out our our luggage, our storage, if you will. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna sneak up, up, sneak up, up, sneak up, up, sneak up on this guy. My English is quite terrible right now, you see. Sorry, pal. I know his other buddy's gonna come There's at me. Ladder in the back. Stop it. Shut up. Stop it. And I have no more ammo. Not good. Not good. Not good. We can do more damage to it while Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It's okay. We needed this. You see, we needed some action. This is exactly what we needed. Oh my god. No ammo? <laughs> Critical hit. Finally. Alright. That's okay. totally fine. Now how to get out of here. Yeah, we definitely needed some ammo. Uh, some action. And some ammo. Machine ripped right through the wall. Hmm. Thank you. And we can take that ladder. But I also want to check what's over here. Hold on. What's in here? Ooh. Now that is what I call loot. I actually don't know how much those uh, little necklaces are going to give me. But I'm hoping they give me a pretty penny here. I definitely want some, some sweet upgrades. For our pal Aloy here. This is still the first Just mission. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands? As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? Mm. I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. <laughs> okay. 
Um, right up here. Excellent. Bro, what is that? That's like a snake? What is that thing? Yeah, dude. Oh, it's more than what the like cobra! Oh, that is sick. Oh. If they slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy. Trust me. And there she goes. This is good. This is good. This is to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin. This man was holding me back. Oh, okay. Here we go. Damn it, Aloy. Always been the adventurous one. I love it. All right, here we go. Oh, God. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Is it dead? Sure is. All right, so I'll do this much quicker now. I'm by myself. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, God. God, it almost spotted me. <laughs> you gotta be quicker than that. Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Oh, hello there, my friend. You ever been assassined? No? Well, too bad. Because you're dead. Or practically, you're not dead because you're a machine, but. You've been deprogrammed, bitch. That's right. I should probably try and uh, not use that language here. Considering that this is not a rated uh, rated M game, but who cares, right? We can all take some profanity from now and then. It's fine. Part of being human. Yeah, let me stop. I'm sorry. It if I launch myself off that grapple point. Wait, 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 wait. Tap to drop from a climbing point. Right, so that's not gonna do anything. Jump and tap. Got it! What? I did not know we could do that. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's new. Oh, that is cool. So you can launch yourself upwards right before you. Oh, that is sweet, man. So, aren't there were three giant machines killing us and leaving acid everywhere? <sighs> Great. All right, let me see. Uh, so we have got. Another question. Oh, here it is. Out with L and tap to jump between distance climbing and holds. Okay. Oh this boy. Oh boy. Bad. <laughs> oh man. I'm getting some good old Uncharted vibes here. Oh god. Oh shoot. Close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. Nice, dude. That is freaking cool. Be able to make that 
Gotcha. And now, we zip line. Uh, Woohoo! We're gonna die! Uh, yep, we're probably gonna die here. Well, where to go back? Yep. This place is barely getting better. Yep. Oh man, that's massive. Look at that. Oh, that is cool. Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. I wonder how much dialogue has to go into some, you know, like a game like this, where the character's constantly thinking out loud and you can hear all her Great. thoughts. More machines in my way. Okay, hold on. We've got some machines here. I'm trying to see if the machines can actually hear me if I roll. Damn. That was not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. man it's definitely not worth it it's definitely worth sneaking around they, they get pretty intense all right all right go ahead and grab some more wood here ridgewood and power cell nice what else we got down here? All right, more of this. I will take that. I'm gonna take that potion later on, honestly. Control console might be in there. Okay, time to crush those machines down below. What if you release the clamps and they're not there anymore? You know. I don't think that's gonna do the trick. Got a bad feeling about this. We're not that dumb, you know? Oh. That sucks. Wow. The shuttle's caught up in those cables. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Okay. How to get up the tower? Scanning with my focus could help here. Should I remind you guys that we're still on the first mission? Reach for the stars. This is, this is intense. Long mission. Long mission indeed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead here. We're gonna pull this resource container. to be using the focus a lot more than I intended to, but that's, that's that's totally fine. We gotta work smart here. Okay, the creaking doesn't sound good. I have to oh god. Those quick. Okay, let me grab that. Thank you. Woohoo! I love when games add all this friggin' parkour crap. It's so fun. Together. 
Alright, let's go up here. Oh my god, hold on, hold on. What are you talking about? What is that? Oh, I was supposed to shoot it. One down. Oh, because this was a bug. Higher. Touch the second oh. Okay. Why did it not let me do that before? Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. You know what that means? Don't fall. I'm turning back now. Or you're probably gonna die. Alright. Some of those jumps feel so deceiving. It's like, There's the other connector. I feel like I'm not gonna make it. Oh. oh. Sayonara! Okay, the machines were actually a lot dumber than I thought they were. I mean, they had about, about, about a good 20 minutes to move out of the way, right? Down we go as well.
away. <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome. Anybody else want some, huh? Just, <laughs> just let dead. me know. Finally. Yeah, it's finally dead. Max health plus 10 skill points. That's right. Spend some skittle points. Let's go ahead. Ooh. You have earned your first skill point after an hour of gameplay. Um, which are gained by leveling up and completing quests and activities. Choose a skill tree and tap. Hmm. I feel like Hunter might be... Uh, might be pretty good to, to start off with. So this is uh, increases your, concent your concentration limits. Prolonging use. You know what? I should have. I can't believe I never pressed R3. I'm an absolute moron. I'm not doing that. Medicinal berries provide more healing. I'm going to go with that. Can't go wrong with health. So that is. Okay, so this is a passive boost. Can be uh, It can be recognized by its circular shape. Skills in this category provide a constant increase to your basic capabilities. Learning passive boosts multiple times increases their benefits. Outfits and weaves can also improve their effects that low health regen passive boost the data center should be straight ahead i guess farhol's gonna have to find another way there nice now nah, this game is so nicely nicely done Let me go ahead and loot up as much as i can here Definitely got a lot to loot here. More berries. I have another one. Actually, I'm full on health. Never mind. I've got no more use for the berries at the moment. I will gather more wood. Can't go wrong with the wood. Another crate here. Supply box. This is what I just... Oil blaster. Man, this thing is nuts. <laughs> this thing is nuts, bro. Oh my gosh. Another the berries. And another potion. Nice. Alright, so I'm assuming... Wow, that is so clutch. Look at this. I'm sorry, just give me a second here. I've got a... Wow. That is nice. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia. Fix the system, heal the Blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Go to the data center. Oh, well, we're in the data center, right? Anything up there? Is it down here? I'm close. Oh, God. I have to be. I thought I was gonna die. Thank you. We're getting so many valuables that there's there's no way that we don't that we don't come up with some sort of good loot or actually some good rewards for the loot that we've been gathering. Now, what's this we got here? 
a Farzine's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia, and her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! <laughs> Thou shalt not steal. Super advanced terraforming system. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. <laughs> Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. I hope nothing happens to this man. You know? And I also hope he doesn't turn on us. <laughs> That would really suck. I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world. Things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long mm -hmm. walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I forgot how to tame them already, but I'm sure we'll learn. That was like a big deal in the first one. We learned how to tame the freaking... The robot. It was like, holy cow. A new interlude. The points of... I couldn't read it. Oh man, look where it is. Oh, dude. It's awesome. By the sun, it's true. She's come back. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You <laughs> saved her. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Hmm. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. 
You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I cut the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. Hmm. Horn of the Lance, that's what it said. I've Examine the orb. This. It contained her. Oh, shit, that's Looks right. the same as before. Oh, look how pretty this is here, huh? Could pull this thing out of my What? Dude, look at the freaking drops on her face. Insane. Give me for a rude awakening. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Oh, how convenient. Oh, shit. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Tap circle without touching either stick to jump backwards. <laughs> oh, man, the mechanics are so cool. Be able to jump back and reach those ropes behind me. Kind of crazy because it's a circle to jump off of a ledge or whatnot. It's kind of weird. Hold L2 and tap to equip the pull caster. Oh boy. There we go. Fucking hell. This is nuts. Oh, how to cross over to the spire. Okay, use your focus to learn more about your surroundings and solve puzzles. Looks like hmm. I can use my pull caster on that. Mm. Should be able to get up there now. Yo, this is awesome, dude. Was helping me when he gave me some Fuck. <laughs> it looks like he tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Hmm. Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully hmm. the transmission note at the top will tell me. Well, it doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. A jar. Can I go up through the inside? Oh, God. An elevator? Let's see. Access the 
Lift activated. Okay. Engaging maintenance configuration. The whole thing is opening up. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. That shit is so creepy. Thing looks like death itself. And it's suddenly raining. <laughs> Gotta love it. There's the note. Finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You read the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll go find you, Art. Yes. Well, an accordance should make it simple enough. Even for you. Oh, snap. Dude, look at that. Look at the drops on her face. Like, oh my gosh. She just falls over. How can you trust that? Varl and Murad know what I found. Aloy always has a way of doing the incredible. Oh, yes, I do. What is this? That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Oh shit, look at the statue of her. Uh, is that a statue <laughs> of me? That's awesome, dude. That's new. I'm like a goddess here. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels that long. is cool, especially when my job's only half done. You went inside it and it transformed almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades, the danger didn't end here, it went into the Forbidden West, and I have to follow. I see, but that can be difficult. West is called forbidden for a reason. The tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you. And attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King.
Aloy, hmm. it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? He's a man. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uth it. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before mm -hmm. she runs off again. <laughs> really? Must you? Are we gonna get some new gear, dude? <laughs> Let's go! Shush! And look at that. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Try it on. About damn time, man. That's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. That's cool. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. So, to learn more about the characters from the past and never get to the character bio section. I need section, to attach you know, the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. All right, so you can talk of the visibility of Aloy's headpieces in the general section. general section of the settings menu nah I'm okay with that just gotta find a workbench now modify your spear up top There, the workbench. All right, here we go. The spear upgrade installs the master override and a new module to enable the buildup and release of kinetic energy in combat. It requires the resonator blast skill to use. Uh, a spear upgrade has been crafted. Okay. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and <laughs> release energy. Oh, let's go, Aloy. Should help in a fight. Got the good old hookups. Talk to your friends. Optional. Uthid, Fanasha. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Oh, I forgot about this, dude. Yes, it's been so long. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? <laughs> I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part. Bad influence. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. 
Avad wanted Uthe to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I know, I know, you're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Hmm. It's kind of hard to remember everything that happened with all these characters, so many of them. But, um... Those were very important characters on the first one. I kind of have a little bit of a memory as to what ha what happened, obviously. It's crazy how all this crap is still here. Overrun by the machines Hades controlled, but we pushed through. I love the the HUD dynamic HUD. It's really cool. It only shows what you need. Who fell in the battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. That is cool. The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. <clears throat> but I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I'd hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Hmm. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at barren light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. <laughs> he's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. <laughs> Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I 
I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. <laughs> or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, <laughs> perhaps. This man is crazy, bro. What flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice? How Elo expresses her personality of his personality is up to you. Choose uh, Aloy will confer the challenge directly. Choose Brain and Aloy will use her insights to find a clever, less obvious approach. Choose Heart and Aloy will express compassion or give <laughs> voice to her deepest convictions. Nice thought. Oof. Man. Are we going to slut it up here? <laughs> I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. Hey, girl, what are you doing? This mission. <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> it's all I can think about. It's hilarious. That's all. Awesome. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I. I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. They're so calming and tend to your mission, Aloy. The way they talk. I will hope for your success. So relaxing to your return. And peaceful. Yes. All right, now stop flirting with me, man. Go do something. Be a be a respectful adult here. Dowager Queen Nasadi, blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Mm -hmm. Did I say right? <laughs> you said it fine, Itaman. <laughs> and you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh, I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Turn to Marad and Mara. Is that the time? Oh, everyone. Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? To catch up. A little while. Time to go. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Fortnight? What? Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Hmm. Love how peaceful the, the, the characters all talk. Especially Aloy. She talks very calm and soothing. She can literally be in the middle of a war and she'll be like very calm and relaxed. She's gonna dip. She's gonna leave him. She's gonna do this on her own, man. The true warrior spirit. And not will not be stopped. I knew it. 
So these guys are going to wake up now. She's not going to be there. They're once again going to feel lost and scared and upset at her. Just leaving like that. But we got some copyright music here. I don't know if it's going to be claimed by YouTube or not. But this area is kind of edited or muted. And you know. Horizon 2. Forbidden West. Whew. Oh. We're very far off now. Sparks to steel. Ha. Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Wow. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. <laughs> and why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. Hmm. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Uh, Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Ranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ha! Great. This Forbidden West thing is going to be beautiful. I can already see it. The scenery in this game is going to be sensational. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag. What is? That's Aloy. Studious Vardis. Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian. Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. <laughs> I came here for the embassy at Baron Light. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, 
scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. <laughs> Down the valley then? <laughs> yeah, said they checked the ruins on the left bank. Of the trash. Shut the hell up. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Now this game looks sensational, man. This game is fucking beautiful. I man. gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Uh, so we've got a couple of things here um, that we can obviously loot up and stuff. But you gotta go to the brink, go to the chainscape, and find Aaron. And then go to Aaron's last known location. I'll tell you what, we've got a couple of upgrades that we've got to do as well um, and continue on with this journey. I think it's a good uh, spot to end it. So I believe we're going to call it quits here, guys. I mean... This game is going to be, I already know this is going to be a phenomenal experience. And I'm super pumped, super excited. If you guys enjoyed the first episode, drop it a like. I would really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, tell me in the comments your thoughts and opinions so far. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you later.